Hello, eggheads, and today I need your help solving a very important case. That is, a computer case? Ugh. Oh, come on, guys, who writes this stuff? You did. Touche. Well, moving on. I know you or someone you know out there likes to custom build their PCs. In that way, I'm very similar. And I always know what kind of motherboard I want, how much RAM, what kind of hard drive I want. But then I hit this philosophical conundrum. What should it look like, right? What kind of case do I want? Well, today I have a really awesome option. It is the Dark Flash DLM21 White Micro ATX Mini Tower. Now, before we look at this case, I want to remind you that yes, a computer case hopefully looks really cool. But the important question to ask ourselves when shopping for a case is, does this case fit the specifications I need for my machine, right? Will all of my components fit? Are there enough STD slots, HDD slots? Is there enough space for a cooling system? Do I need a cooling system? Is the motherboard I want even compatible? All right. So while we hold these questions in our mind, let's take a look inside the case. The first thing I notice about this pretty cool case is how the door opens. Check this out. It has an opening side panel with a magnetic design. All right, look at that. It opens super easily, no tools required, very easy to disassemble the parts. I must say, you can't feel it from there, but it is a little mesmerizing to be able to have a computer that opens this way. All right, that is, that is just very cool. I could, I could probably do this all day. <laughs> uh, of course, with the glass panel, you'll reveal whatever cool light show you have on the inside in a kind of low-key, understated way, show off the nice components you have in there. And of course, this panel is tempered glass, okay, which means it has been processed through special chemical treatments to increase the strength compared with standard glass. We'll notice that the front panel has a low poly design, which is kind of a cool term in 3D gaming, which just means a low number of polygons. I think I remember a Pokemon that was made out of polygons, but that's something for another time. It, uh, it kind of says, I'm cool, without really screaming it. And on the top, we have our important buttons. We've got our power button, our reset button. We have two USB 2.0 ports. We have one USB 3.0 port and then we have two high definition audio ports. The entire case is made up of SPCC steel, which, well, SPCC steel is simply commercial grade cold rolled steel. So, nice and sturdy. The case does feature an air inlet design, which helps maximize ventilation. With a mini case, we're even more concerned about possible overheating because our internal components are gonna be closer together. So if we're running high intensity programs like high res games, if you're editing movies, especially in 4K or just running a lot of programs at once, we wanna be careful of that. We wanna make sure we have possibly water cooling. This does support CPU cooling, but at a maximum height of 165 millimeters. The maximum video card length is 330 millimeters. So Please check your specs. I can't say that enough. Check the specs beforehand. I don't want anyone out there buying a bunch of parts, trying to put them together, and then realizing, uh-oh, something doesn't fit, right? Okay, the case weighs about 11 pounds. The inside has two 3.5 drive bays, one 2.5 drive bay, and four expansion slots. You're gonna get great cable management out of this case. Again, your components are super easy to access with this very slick, tempered glass side panel, check that out. Again, I just hope everyone out there can feel what I'm feeling when I do that. That is just so cool. All right, so if you only have a few internal drives, uh, if your graphics card will fit, this is definitely a case that I can highly recommend, especially if you wanna go the CPU liquid cooling route. I've seen standard metal cases go for this price without the slick tempered glass side panel, without the cool paint job, without the consideration for airflow. So I think it's safe to say that we have solved today's case. This has been Newegg Now, and now you know. What's up, eggheads? Kenan here, your host for Newegg Now, where we bring you sweet stuff for even sweeter prices. 
There comes a time in every gamer's life when he or she realizes that the hand-me-down Dell keyboard mom gave me that I used to type up book reports just isn't doing it for me anymore, mom. Sorry, there's, there's no story there. Anyway, there are tons of gaming keyboards out there. Some are well over a hundred bucks even. Today, I want to introduce one to you that comes in at a much more reasonable price, but holds its weight in competition. The first player, DK 5.0 USB gaming keyboard. We have a sweet box that tells us some very important information. All right, let's get a little close up on the box. 104 keys, 104 keys, 16.8 million RGB, water resistant, semi suspended keycaps. Okay, this is too much excitement. I need to get this out of the box. All right, let me get this out of the box so we can explore. Oh wow, I'll share the feeling I just got in just a second. Let me clean up my workspace. We want a nice and clean presentation here at New Egg Now. All right, great. So the first feeling I got, although this keyboard is only about five inches wide, all right, making it fairly compact, it's got some weight to it. All right, it's, it's, it's about 1.1 kilograms, so two and a half pounds. It's ABS constructed. That's acrylonitrile butadiene styrene for you chemistry nerds. That means it's thermoplastic polymer, amorphous, and it has no true melting point. It's like a keyboard from the matrix, <laughs> okay? I can apply force to either end, right? And it doesn't give at all like other plastic keyboards would, okay? It's all super durable. It's got plate mounted mechanical keys and switches that stand up to tough gaming conditions. How much do you think you could type on this before it wears out? One million strokes? Two million? The double shot injection molded ABS keycaps pass the 50 million keystroke test. All right, let's, let's listen to the keys. Ooh, I love that sound. I love the sound of truly mechanical keys. It's like that sound that makes you feel like a cool hacker even if you're searching for cat videos. Let me type cat videos. The 104 keys are 100% anti-ghosting and are abrasion resistant and they are conflict free. Not in a rebel or terror group sense, that's conflict free diamonds, but rather there is an N key rollover ensuring that the most accurate simultaneous key presses go without a problem. N key rollover is the ability of a device to scan the keys independently, all right? Each key is detected no matter how many keys are pressed simultaneously. It's got a high speed USB cable with gold plated corrosion free USB connector for a reliable connection. Although the cable connection to the keyboard itself isn't protected by any extra housing. So try not to pull on that too hard. I'm gonna plug the keyboard into my computer. There we go. The DK5 is equipped with high quality custom red key switches, which are linear top to bottom keys. These keys require less force to press down. So the keys feel smoother and easier to use. They're quiet and highly responsive, great for both work and play. The keys are fully programmable, so you can of course reassign any key to set up for your macros for effortless gaming. And as far as lighting goes, there are 13 different types of lighting. There's also a DIY backlit mode. The full color RGB LED can supply up to 16 million colors. So it's like The Rock and Picasso had a baby. The included software allows you to toggle between the different lighting modes or you can use the function key and key combos listed in the instruction manual to get the same effects. All right, I will try to demonstrate some for you right now. For instance, if I hold function and insert, there we go. We start to light up. Okay, if I hit function, there's a bunch of different key codes here listed function plus delete, I should get eight different backlit LED colors. So if I hold function plus delete, Toggle between the colors, we see that, right? There we go. That's pretty awesome. You can play with this, play with this all day. Uh, 16.8 million different colors that can come out. The DK 5.0 is widely compatible. It's supported on Windows 7, 8, 10, Vista, and Mac OS X. The multimedia shortcuts are not applicable on Mac, however. But in all, a fantastic gaming keyboard in this price range. 104 extremely durable keys made of ABS, giving you up to 50 million strokes, all processed independently through N key rollover. The keyboard itself packs some weight so it doesn't slide or bend. The keys are almost weightless as you press them. Awesome sound. 
The 16.8 million colors give you nearly endless possibilities for how you light your system up. For current prices, please check the description and or the link below. My fabulous eggheads, the first player DK 5.0 RGB mechanical USB gaming keyboard. I'm your product host, Kenan. This has been New Egg Now, and now you know. Hey there, eggheads. How's everyone doing today? I'm really excited about this next product because it's all about options. You know, in this day and age, we have way too many devices. Do you even know how many USB devices you own? How many smart devices you own? We've got Google, Amazon, Alexa. We have USB 2, USB 3. We have devices to record video, to record sound. Do you ever find yourself having to unplug one device just to be able to plug in another? At my house, I have to unplug an external hard drive just to plug in a microphone to make voiceovers. And then I have to undo all that to be able to save it. It's a whole mess. Anyway, it's hard to have a system that's set up to support all devices simultaneously. Or is it? Enter the Wavelink USB 3.0 Universal Docking Station. Bum, bum, bum. There's docking stations, and then there's docking stations. Okay, I know we've all seen docking stations that add extra USB ports. Sure, fine. This is a lot more than that. Let's take a look inside the box. Okay, so we open the box, and we have our docking station. <laughs> Probably our power cords. Okay, great, and our stands. Perfect, all right, this is a nice beauty. Check this out. So inside the box, Wavelink has provided us with absolutely everything we need. Let's take a look. They have a stand, so if you need the docking station to stand upright, you can of course do that. It'll look nice on the edge of a table or maybe on the floor. You can also place the docking station on its back like so. But let's take a look at the meat, shall we? So of course, we have our USB ports. We have four USB 2.0 ports, perfect for your keyboard, your mouse, maybe a USB massage ball, whatever USB connector, external hard drive. We have two USB 3.0 ports. Those are the ones in blue here. These, one of them actually doubles as a quick charging port. All right, it has 1.5 amps, quick charging for any smartphone you might have. That's really cool. We have a gigabit Ethernet LAN port, okay? And on the top here, you'll notice there's a 3.5 millimeter line in and out for microphone and headphone jack. Uh, and one of the best features on this docking station, that's right, I'm really excited about this. Check this out. We have an HDMI and DVI output. We have two video outputs that can be used simultaneously. I wanna say that one more time. We have HDMI and DVI that can be used simultaneously and get a few types of video modes. One, you can have A, B screens, so two totally different screens. You can set them up for mirroring mode, so each screen shows the same thing. And then you can also have an extended screen. You can take two external monitors and actually turn them into one large screen of 2K resolution using this right here. To do that, you plug in both your monitors and then use this USB 3.0 cable plug that into your computer, you'll have two screens simultaneously working together for a large 2K, you know, hodgepodge of a screen. That's awesome. So an important question is, can I use the docking station with my computer system? It has system support for Windows 10, 8.1, 8, 7, Windows XP, Mac OS, and Android 5.0 or higher. There is a two year warranty included in the device so, in a world with more and more devices, where our computers only have two or three ports, it becomes more important to have a suitable USB docking station. But let's review what kind of functionality we have. Of course, we have our four USB 2.0 ports for keyboard, mouse, coffee maker, massage ball, whatever it is. We've got the two USB 3.0 ports with one as a quick charging port, 1.5 amps. We have the gigabit ethernet LAN port on top we have 3.5 millimeter line in and out for audio. And we have, of course, the awesome feature of dual screen simultaneous output. We have DVI and HDMI together 
to, that help you take two external monitors and make one large 2K screen. Of course, you can have mirror screens or A, B screens, whatever you want. Comes with a two year warranty. Whether you have Windows 10, 8.1, 8, 7, XP, or Mac OS, it's all gonna work for you. The Wavelink USB 3.0 Universal Docking Station. This has been Newegg Now, and now you know. Hey everyone, it's Kenan, your trusted tech nerd for all things value packed. Now, I don't know if you have any plans in the near future to make a DIY desktop computer, but if you're going to do that, you must know that a suitable power supply is very important. And I don't know when it started, but it seems like high power power supplies right now are all the rage. I don't know if it's because CPUs and graphics cards are just so expensive that no one cares about how much money they dish out for power supplies, am I right? <laughs> I'm just kidding. But clearly, using a high power power supply does have its benefits. Number one, it can make your expensive CPU and graphics card last much longer. Number two, it can decrease the amount of electricity you use, making you more energy efficient. And three, the other functions can bring you more convenience and stability while using it. I have here the Segotep Xingu GP Series 750 watt gold power supply. Xingu is a desktop power supply company that has been around for a long time, longer than me, and I'm pretty old. They were founded in 1986 and have a worldwide reputation for power supplies, chassis, and radiators. Now I said before that a good power supply can make your CPU and your graphics card last much longer. This is marked with 750 watts. But how much power do we really need? I ran some tests. Okay, when browsing the web and replying to emails, a computer needs only about 60 to 100 watts. I have here that if you are going to play games or make videos, you need about 120 to 350 watts. Now we might get a little technical here, but when a power supply is at 50% load, okay, 50% load, that means that we are at peak efficiency. That means that internal temperature and stability are at peak performance. So if you're using a full set of high-end capabilities, you know, you're playing high-res games, you're editing films, you're live streaming or whatever, choosing a 750 watt power supply is not only appropriate, but it's essential for the long-term health of your computer. Remember, a 750 watt power supply means that it can provide up to 750 watts of power, but it doesn't mean that the power consumption will remain at 750 watts. The actual power consumption depends on the motherboard, the CPU, the graphics card, etc., how they're all being used, and the power supply will only provide the amount of required power. Two, remember I said that we can decrease the electricity expense. As I said before, when a power supply is at 50% load, we are at peak efficiency. What this means is that our power conversion rate is at its strongest, at its highest. So what does that mean? That means to output a certain X amount of power. The amount of power input required is the least. If you're still on the fence for some reason, I'll have you know that this power supply has passed the 80 plus gold certification. I haven't heard of that certification. Let me explain. 80 plus is recognized as one of the most stringent power saving codes in the world, which is directly related to your monthly electricity bill. At the beginning, it was divided into four levels, 80 plus, 80 plus bronze, 80 plus silver, 80 plus gold. Later, two higher levels were added, namely 80 plus platinum and 80 plus titanium. The 80 plus gold standard used by this device refers to the power conversion rate of 87% at 20% load. If it's a 50% load, the conversion efficiency at this time is the highest, which can reach 90%. And if it's 100% full-time, full load operation, the conversion rate can still maintain more than 87%. This means that your entire setup is more energy efficient and environmentally friendly. Then you may be wondering, what are the conversion rates of the other levels? You know, is, is gold actually good or should I need, do I need something better? Let me answer you. The most basic 80 plus standard, no matter the workload, the conversion rate can reach 80%, okay? The most basic 80%. Remember, 80 plus gold is 87 to 90% depending on the load. Now, titanium standard has between 90 and 94% conversion depending on load. 
Please refer to the picture for detailed comparison. As you can see, the gold medal is in the middle position. Maybe you've seen this when shopping for power supplies before. Products with reasonable prices and guaranteed quality are all basically 80 plus gold certified. You know, I don't want you to waste your money, okay? Spending tons of extra dollars for a titanium standard just to get maybe up to 4% higher conversion, I don't think it's such great bang for your buck. I think we should just stick with the 80 plus gold. For high power power supplies, manufacturers typically add many small functions that make it more useful. There are so many here that I'm gonna use my list to help us out. You've got OVP, that's over voltage protection. OCP, over current protection. OPP, over power protection. OLP, over load protection. UVP, under voltage protection. OTP, over temperature protection. SCP, short circuit protection. These features can automatically shut down your computer if the current or the temperature gets too high. Your computer will not fall to the hands of tiny mechanical failures. This power supply is also an APFC power supply. That is an active power factor correction power supply. What does that mean? This power supply not only saves power, but it also has wider voltage adaptability. So it works very stably under wide voltage fluctuations. All right, let's look inside the box. Now here we have a full module power supply, which means, whoa, nice, that we can select the cables we need individually. That makes it easier to organize within the chassis. What do I see here? Ah, the fan, the 140 millimeter super quiet fan. You will enjoy serene silence with this baby. But back to the cables. Ah, look at all these options. We have the 24 pin connector for the motherboard. We've got the connector for the SATA drive, the CD drive, and provided all these cables. Okay, check this out. We've got our motherboard cables, our SATA cables, our drive cables, whatever you need to connect inside your computer, it's all right here. Oh, here's an ancient fossil in the IT world. The famed 3.5 floppy disk. Yes, I know what this is, which means I need to go to a retirement home. You don't need to know what this is. Probably. <laughs> okay. Finally, I have to mention that compared to the power supplies of four or five or even many more years ago, they have added a very convenient switch on the external part. Okay. So now we can manually cut off power or turn power on without having to unplug a cord. Really convenient. All right. Let's review. It has 80 plus gold certification. It is environmentally friendly. It saves power. It has plus APFC active PFC design. It's got OVP, UVP, OPP, SCP, OCP, OTP, multiple protection measures. It comes with a five year warranty. These features can let you use it with confidence. It's also got full modular design, an additional switch button and a 140 millimeter ultra quiet fan. You can hardly hear any movement while this is working in standby. That's pretty awesome. This is a very valuable high-end product. 750 watts of power can be applied to almost all configurations. So whether you're browsing the web, working or playing games, making movies, you will not be disappointed. The standard for what makes a good power supply hasn't changed for many years. Invest well once and be pleased for years to come. In fact, I bet you can pass this on to your grandkids. Just kidding, you probably don't wanna do that. But anyway, that's it for today. I really hope this product brings you a lot of value. Thank you and see you next time.